hard work last week. Have you been able to sort of patch them up and get them fresh again for this weekend? Um, no, I think they've kept on going from 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 you know from the first minute. As I say, they've, they've kept going. Um, I think we just played a decent team last week. We played on the front foot and made life difficult for us. I think you know they won six on the trot previously the game previous to that one against Swindon. But I think that showed. I think they're a team. I think they were ready and. Um, I was really pleased with the outcome. Is, is the confidence growing now, do you think? I hope so. I think it should grow. I think they've proven that they can consistently win a couple of games over a five game period. Um, so I think they have to start believing in themselves. And I think to a point on against Rochdale, they were putting under a lot of pressure, but partly feeling a bit better and more confident about themselves kept them out. Yeah, because so many times this season, I guess they're coming to the change room thinking, how did we lose that? It was almost the other way around, wasn't it, against Rochdale, which must have been a bit of a lift. Yeah, we had some good chances, though. We created some good chances. We should have scored a couple of goals. Um, they had the lion's share. They put us under pressure. But we still had some goal threat in the game, which was important. Um, so, no, listen, it's just pleasing that they're, they're learning how to win games. What news on Chris McCann? How's he looking? He's injured for, um, he'll probably be out for about three or four weeks now. His hamstring, he got a little tear in his hamstring, so he, he's not going to be available for selection.